Superman and Superman 2 went on to become box office hits, but Superman 3, well, it fell way short of its franchise expectations. Mostly described as campy with a poor storyline and lack of human interest, Superman 3 focused more on the action and not the characters and plot. And even though the late Richard Pryor was considered a comedic genius and inspiration to many, he was thought to be miscast in Superman 3, only receiving the role because he mentioned how he was a fan of the previous Superman movies. It states on the 1978 Superman poster, you'll believe a man can fly. But as with the Andromeda strain, there are no computers or modern day techniques for Chilvers and the special effects team to use in making Superman believably fly. But they did come up with several methods to accomplish this goal. One thing that gave Superman, or more accurately, Superman's cape the illusion of flight was this device created by the special effects artist, the late Les Bowie. This motor with sawed off fish rods was put under the cape and with a little help from some wind, gave Superman's cape a life of its own. 